This new app is exactly what we've been asking for from Voice Meter for years. Every single gamer and streamer can finally have mixed audio without getting a PhD in engineering. The new SteelSeries Sonar app has this beautiful little thing called a setup wizard. It walks you through the setup of audio sources on your computer by having you select your game audio source, your chat audio source, and your microphone source. After selecting devices, it creates easy to understand virtual sources that can be used within OBS and other apps for streaming. Outside of the mixing capabilities, this app is equipped with EQ, noise gate, and noise reduction tools. And for gamers, you finally have an easy to use tool for boosting footsteps and other sounds in games to boost your performance. So before we get started, let's grab our voice meter and throw it in the trash. You can download this new app using the link in the description below. It's kind of finicky after opening the SteelSeries GG app, you will have to click on this learn more button on the homepage and join the early access for the Sonar application. Let's start by talking about this application's benefits and then at the end we will talk about its cons and believe me, there are some pretty big cons so you'll want to stay tuned. The Sonar app takes the hassle out of setting up game audio and chat audio on different sources on your computer. It gives you control over the volumes of both sources as well as providing a master to quickly control the levels of both. It creates three new virtual sources on your computer that can be used for streaming from OBS. The great thing about these sources is the easy to understand labeling. You have a SteelSeries game source, SteelSeries chat source, and for the microphone source, you have a SteelSeries microphone. There are no confusing labels like virtual ASIO, auxiliary VIO, input 3.0 cable, WM driver, audio source. It clearly states what they are. You can then take those sources and set them up in OBS for more control when you are streaming. For the game source, you get an EQ to fine tune the audio settings. They came prepared with EQ presets for your favorite games. So if you're playing Apex Legends, you can quickly switch the EQ to Apex Legends. But remember, if you don't switch it back to default after playing, those effects will be applied to everything you have playing on your default desktop source. Below the EQ is a spatial audio setting. This setting allows you to set the audio experience to more performance based to hear environmental noises better or immersion if you want a more cinematic sound experience for story games. Both the chat and microphone come with an EQ, noise reduction, noise gate, and smart voice. The EQ is a graphic EQ, unlike the parametric EQ for the game audio. I find this a very strange choice by them, but it still is a valuable tool. There are 10 bands total on the graphic EQ, and you can boost or cut each up to 12 decibels. The noise reduction is going to work just like NVIDIA Voice. The benefit of this noise reduction is they give you a few more controls with the background and impact sliders. Lastly, you have the noise gate, which will gate background noise if you set up correctly, and the smart voice, which is an AI tool made to keep your mic within a certain volume range to prevent it from getting too loud or being too quiet. As you can tell, this application is pretty neat, but there are a few cons. One benefit of using voice meter is its ability to separate the virtual devices on voice meter from the selected devices in OBS. Meaning when you use voice meter, you can listen to the game audio at a different volume level than your stream. And when you adjust the volumes within voice meter it doesn't impact the volumes within OBS. This essentially makes the stream audio very consistent and brings up the production value of your stream. When you're using this sonar app and you adjust the volumes within the application it's going to simultaneously adjust the volumes of the sources within OBS. Another big con if you're looking to use this application as a streamer is its lack of additional sources. I mean this app is literally perfect at setting up game audio and chat audio but you can't add in any other sources into the app i think that's mostly because they're using the default devices on windows and there's no way to automate setting up a music application using devices that are already set up on your computer so instead of creating a whole audio streaming environment, they just use what's already available. You can't separate a music application from the rest of the devices without creating a virtual device on the computer and then using that within the application as its own independent audio source. Although you might not be able to automate this process, it's very important for streamers to be able to add in additional sources into an app like this. I love how this application creates virtual devices for every single source that gets set up within it. Now, if they take it the next step and allow you to create multiple devices and select which application goes to which device, 
this app would be next level. Speaking of next level, if you're a streamer or gamer and you're currently using voice meter, don't be one of the persons that are making the mistakes that I mentioned in this video. Definitely give this video a watch. It will help you better understand how to use voice meter correctly. Thank you so much for watching this one and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.